Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Zooey Entertainment, and today we're doing something special once again. Just a one-off video, no series or anything. But today, I was, I've was i been recording Axel's Equestrian reviews for a while. I it, record, I watched episode 8, well, 9 and 10, and edited 9 and 10. So I spent like 3 hours uh, watching slash editing. MLP. And the next episode was Winter Wrap Up, but I decided I needed a miniature break from that since I've been doing MLP stuff for like three hours. I needed a tad bit of a break. So I decided I'd go to one of my other passions other than MLP, which are Amiibos. This is my Amiibo collection. I started collecting Amiibos in uh, July ish of this year. Uh, and, uh, so I got a late start, but I've always been a massive fan of Amiibos. I just hadn't had a chance to buy any, because I'm all, uh, because, uh, complications and stuff. I hadn't gotten a chance to buy any. So this is all the Amiibos I have and how I got them. Now we start off with my first Amiibo, which I got in July or August, and that's Pac-Man. Uh, I'd always wanted an Amiibo because I loved Amiibos, and I was at a GameStop, and I saw they had Mario, uh, Zelda, some, uh, Bowser and Pac-Man. I was like, screw it. I've always won an Amiibo. I'm gonna get one. And I got Pac-Man because Pac-Man is one of my favorite video game characters of all time. He is awesome. So I was like, what better guy to start out with? And soon after I got the Pac-Man Amiibo, I it was looking at Amiibo news on my iPad and stuff. And I was like, oh, the newest wave is about to come out. And you know who's in that new wave? Bowser Jr. OMG. I love Bowser Jr. He's one of my favorite characters to play as a Smash. Uh, I love playing as Pac-Man, but I love Bowser Jr. even more. So I begged my mom to get it for me, and she went on a vacation. Uh, the problem with Bowser Jr. was he was he's a Toy R Us Toys R Us exclusive. And the problem with that is there's no Toys R Us within like two hours of my house. We got WalMarts, we got Targets, but no Toys R Us. And that's very upsetting. So my mom went to California to see some of her family. And there was a Toys R Us there. And halfway through the trip, uh, I was back here. And I looked at my phone. I got a text. And she said, ta-da. And uh, the picture showed the Bowser Jr. Amiibo. And then I, like, jumped in the air. And I was super excited because Bowser Jr. is one of my favorite Smash Brothers characters. So I got the Bowser Jr. Amiibo second. And that was around September. And that's when my... Amiibo collection really started to take off. Now, next, I wanted to play... I didn't have a Wii U yet, and I wanted to play with my Amiibos in Smash Brothers for my DS. The only problem is I don't have the new version, so you needed to get the NFC reader to actually use your Amiibos on it, which I still use it today. Uh, and when I was there, I was just paying for it and stuff, and uh, I was thinking to myself... When are they going to release my three favorite characters in Smash? Well, not necessarily my three. Uh, well, I three characters that I love that hadn't gotten Amiibos yet were Mr. Game & Watch, Duck Hunt, and Rob. Mr. Game & Watch is probably my favorite character in Smash Brothers. Rob is in my top five in Duck Hunt, maybe in my top five or six, or maybe even my top seven. Definitely in my top seven, but I'm not sure quite where in that list. I love all three of those characters a lot. They're all three awesome characters. And I recently learned that Duck Hunt actually has some... Eh, people actually don't like Duck Hunt that much. I, I love Duck Hunt. He is so fun to play as. It's just awesome. But I was getting the NFC, and the lady there was like, Would you like to pre-order our new three-pack of Amiibos? And I was like, Okay, so uh, what's in this three-pack? And she said, Rob... Duck Hunt in Mr. Game and Watch. And my jaw just literally drops because I was like, I've been waiting over a year for them to come out. OMG! So I instantly got the pre order. And I counted every day on the calendar. It was a month till I could get the Amiibos. And every day I counted down. I was like, 30 days, 29 days, 28, 27, 26, 27, 24, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, Until eventually we got down to one. And that day, and then we got to zero, and I got the Duck Hunt Amiibo, which I love. He looks really cool. The Rob Amiibo, who I love Rob, but the problem is his head is facing sideways, which is kind of cool, but I, I think I'd rather him have it face forward. And Mr. Game & Watch, my favorite character in Smash Brothers, OMG, was I excited to get my hands on this. 
this was a great day for me. So I thought, where to go from there? That was most of the characters that I really like in Smash I got in Amiibo form. Those were five of my favorite characters. Other characters that I really like in Smash, I really like the Wii Fit Trainer, uh, uh, Meta Knight, but I haven't gotten either of those Amiibos, which is sad, sad face. But I was at the store one day, just shopping with my mom, and I walked over to the video game section, which is what I usually do while she's shopping. And I went and looked at the Amiibos, and I was like, hey, they got some Amiibos here. I think I'm just going to buy some since there's none that are really on my wish list that I can easily get. So I'll just get ones that I moderately want, not super want. So that day I decided to buy two Amiibos. I got Olimar, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's a really cool looking character. I don't use him in Smash because he's extremely difficult to learn how to use. But he's still a pretty cool guy. And I got Dr. Mario. He is so cool. This is a really cool looking Amiibo. I really like Dr. Mario. I think he's he was a pretty good addition to Smash to make him a new character. I really enjoyed it, and it's good that we now have Dr. Mario in that game. So, that was, uh, I got the Retro 3 pack in around October, and then Dr. Mario and Olimar in November. But then, I didn't get any Amiibos for a while. I was just chilling, wasn't going to the store very much, I had a lot of finals to do. That's why I had a lot of hard time. Sorry, I had a phone call from my mom. She's, uh, my mom says hi to the internet, just so you know. But back to where we're going. December. I was shopping for Christmas presents for my siblings. And for my little sister, I got the Pink Yarn Yossi Amiibo. Because I thought she'd love it. She's a stuffed animal addict. She would love it. And while I was there, I was like, I might as well pick one up for myself because I'm an Amiibo collector. And I looked. There were none that I really... Eh, that I needed. Uh... Yeah, there, the only other one there was Zero Suit Samus. Uh, well, the only ones I didn't have is I don't have a Mario Amiibo yet, I don't have a Zelda Amiibo, and I don't have a Zero Suit Samus. And my mom thought it was creepy to buy me a Zero Suit Samus Amiibo because, you know, parents, they can't really understand that kind of stuff. It was kind of creepy getting, like, a hot girl, uh, like, action figure for me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's how it went. So I ended up buying a character that I really like the Amiibo design for, Tom Nook. And I don't have Amiibo, uh, uh, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, and I'm not sure if I ever will, because I hear it's not a very good game. But I love the Amiibo. One of the best things about this Amiibo is its uh, vest. The vest could easily just be a solid piece of plastic, but no, it's molded to have bumps and dips just like it's, uh, it's uh, like made out of actual cloth and stuff. Like It's shaped like that. It's not just a flat piece of plastic. It's all bumpy like it was sewn together, which I really like. That was pretty cool. Oh, I got a text. Oh, my, I need to turn off the heater. Ah! Uh, so, that was late December. And then Christmas rolled around. And my mom was like, Hey, guys, you want to get Axel saying that he really likes, saying that's cheap and he'll love. Get these things called Amiibos. And they were the main thing on my Christmas list. So I ended up getting five Amiibos. And, uh, well, four and an extra one. I'll save that extra one for last. So, I got King, no, not King, uh, Diddy Kong, which I am not a massive Donkey Kong fan. I've played the games, but uh, I still really like the Amiibo. It's a pretty neat Amiibo, and I want to collect them all. Uh, I got Marth, which is pretty cool, because Marth is one of the rarest Amiibos of them all, and I actually got it as a Christmas present from, like, my grandma. So she found a Martha Amiibo and got it for me, and that was pretty awesome. Thank you, Grandma. Uh, so that was really sweet. I got Marth now, even though I've never actually played a Fire Emblem game. Now I'm sad. But I got, there's still three more Amiibos I was able to get for Christmas. I got probably uh, a Fox Amiibo. Now look at this thing. This thing looks amazing. So detailed, so chic. That is this one sweet Amiibo. It looks so cool. Might be my favorite I got for Christmas, but the other two are I really wanted. Uh, so, the character that I'd always wanted since the day uh, the Retro 3 pack was released, the main thing on my Christmas list was a special Japanese version of Rob. If you don't know, Rob has a different color scheme in 
uh, Japan. This is because uh, in America, Rob was packaged with the NES. Well, it worked for the NES, but the Japanese version of the NES was the Famicom, and where the NES was black and gray, the Famicom was tan and red, and uh, thus the Robs matched. So the Japanese version of Rob. As you can see, he's not... Uh, He's not, Rob is like white, but he's more of a tan color, you can see. And his arms, as you can see, are very red compared to Rob's silver arms. So there is a pretty big difference. And I always wanted this because I thought this, I always thought this was the cooler coloration. And I wanted it to complete the collection. And I got it special from overseas. And now I just learned that they're releasing in America in March. So, whoops. But down to the final amiibo. For Christmas, every year, we usually get one big gift for the family or for one of us. Uh, and this year, I got a big gift. I got a Wii U, which is pretty freaking awesome. And with this Wii U, what did I do? Well, I asked for when I asked for the Wii U, I asked for the one that came with Super Mario Maker, which I got. And Super Mario Maker came with the 30th anniversary Modern Colors Mario Amiibo. Now this thing is awesome, it's 3D 8-bit, this is something that's really freaking sweet, I really like it, it might be my, it's one of my favorite amiibos, probably not my favorite amiibo, but I really like it, it's big and bulky, but it's really good, and Super Mario Maker gives you that super mushroom, which is pretty sweet. And that brings up us up to a grand total of 13 amiibos. Now what do I want next? My wish list right now consists the main amiibo that I wanted for Christmas that I didn't get was Mewtwo, which is unfortunate. I actually have a friend, one of my best friend's birthdays is in late December, and I went to the store to get him a gift, and I got him a Mewtwo amiibo, and it was the last Mewtwo amiibo, so I didn't get to buy one for myself, and I cried for many weeks on end. So, my friend, I got my friend a Mewtwo amiibo, but I didn't get one for myself, which is re really upsetting. And other guys I want... I want the Wii Fitness Trainer because he's awesome. Uh, Meta Knight because he's awesome. When Falco comes out, I want Falco because he's awesome. When Ryu comes out, I want Ryu because he's awesome. I want all these characters. I want them all. Braha. And soon I will have every amiibo. And of course, I want the Golden Mario because Golden Mario is freaking sweet. So that's basically how it goes. That's my amiibo collection. Uh, what amiibos do you have? Do you have the same amiibos as me? Do I have any amiibos that you don't have? Do you have any amiibos that I don't have? Leave a comment in the description below. I think I'll, uh, to keep you guys updated, I'll do unboxing videos of future amiibos I get. So uh, feel free to expect that in the future. But until next time, I'm Axel from Axel Azuli Entertainment. And goodbye!